what's up, Northwest Elementary? Miss Blake is back, and so is her cat. Cat kitty tummy. Ooh, someone needs her toes trimmed. Okay, you're, you're going to have to stop. That's imitatable violence, and I've got children watching. Once again, just a couple of things before we start. If you want to comment on the video, unfortunately, um, YouTube blocks comments on videos that are made for kids. But check my link in the description. I'll have a video of this of this one boop, boop, that you can comment on with things you wanted to say for this video. I say these are my favorites. Of course, I have so many favorites. I picked a lot of books that are my favorites to read to you guys because I like a lot of books. Once Upon an Alphabet by Oliver Jeffers. Short stories for all the letters. How many letters are there? 26. How many short stories are there? Also 26. I love Oliver Jeffers stuff. He is really awesome and I think you guys are going to love these short stories. I mean, I'm a grown woman and I laughed. I laugh like a lung right out of my body. It's, it's no longer in my body that long. It's, it's somewhere over off in that direction because I just, I got the giggles so much at this book. Okay, enough of that. Let's get started. Okay, buckle up, because here we go for a tour around the alphabet. Once Upon an Alphabet, short stories for all the letters by Oliver Jeffers. I love this guy. He has really good work. And for today, I'm going to be using this as my pointer. This is a keychain that um, I forgot the correct I forgot the correct term for it, but it's one of those keychains um, that you can use to break open a window if you ever need to break open a window for some reason, for some totally legitimate reason. And that's all I'm going to say about that. All right. <clears throat> if words make up stories and letters make up words then stories are made of letters. In this menagerie, we have stories made of words made for all the letters. Hmm, figure that one out. We're going to start with A, an astronaut. That's a good letter to start with. Edmund was an astronaut. For ages, he'd been training to go on an adventure up into space to meet some aliens. I mean, if you're going to go into space, that is an excellent reason for it. Although, there was a problem. Space was about 328,416 feet above him. And Edmund has a fear of heights. Anything over three feet in the air was a bit much for him. He had a long way to go. Another 328,413 feet to be accurate. Don't worry, Edmund. You can do it. You can do it. Just believe in yourself and keep working hard. And I bet by the end of this book, you're going to be up in the air higher than you ever thought you'd go before. B. Burning a bridge. Hmm. Bernard and Bob lived on either side of the bridge and for years had been battling each other for reasons neither could remember. Okay, we got Bernard with his blue pants and Bob with his red pants. And come on guys, if you can't remember why you're fighting in the first place, should you really continue to fight? Isn't this a little, I don't know, silly? I think it is. One day, Bob decided to fix things so Bernard couldn't bother him anymore by burning the bridge between them. But Bob learned an important lesson that day. Oh no! <laughs> I'm so smart. Uh, he needed the bridge to get back. Whoops! Hey, um... Okay, so, um, between these stories, my lighting rig fell on top of me, and it was not fun. So, yeah, that happened. Okay. C. Cup in the cupboard. Oh, hello, little cup. What are you saying? There's tea in me. 
Oh, aren't you sweet? There's tea in this, too. Cup lived in the cupboard. It was dark and cold in there when the door was closed. He dreamed of living over by the window where he'd have a clear view. One afternoon, he decided to go for it. Oh, yes, come on, little cup. You can do it. Just jump down to the counter and, I don't know, waddle your way over here. Jump up onto the windowsill. It's so easy. You can do that. What could possibly go wrong? Unfortunately, he forgot that the counter was a long way down and made of concrete. Ooh. Bad luck, little cup. Um, don't worry, I'm... Don't worry, I'm sure someone will be along with some crazy glue soon. D. Danger Delilah. Oh, she looks tough. Danger Delilah is a daredevil who laughs in the face of death and dances at the door of disaster. Oh, she's over there laughing at death and death saying, No one likes being laughed at, you know. And she's over here dancing at the door of disaster. And disaster's just looking at her like, Really? Really? This stuff again? I'm trying to mind my own business. You're over here Fortnite dancing. Mm, can't handle this. Mm. And on this page we'll see an asterisk. And another asterisk. The top one says, Don't try this at home. And the bottom one says, Good luck trying this if you can find a donkey. <laughs> I know who's got a donkey. Our principals have a donkey. <laughs> Nothing is too dangerous, and she fears no one. Except her dad when she's late for dinner. Delilah, if you're not home in five minutes, there'll be no dessert. Whew, look at her run. <clears throat> Gotta get that dessert. E. An enigma. An enigma is a fancy word that means mystery. Ooh. If you want to impress me, use this word in a sentence in the, in the comments. I eagerly await what you come up with. How many elephants can you fit inside an envelope? Hmm, I don't know. Most of one? None of one. Maybe like the toe of one. Alright, how many? Turn to the letter N to find out. Ooh. Well, that's a quite a few letters down the, down the road. We'll just get there when we get there. F. Forever. Ferdinand was out walking his frog when he came upon a hole. A really big hole. In fact, it was the world's biggest hole, and it went on forever. Mm. He even got the sign there saying, Careful now! He dropped a penny in to see how long it would take to hit the bottom. <whistles> would you believe me if I told you it's still falling? That's because forever never ends. G. G. Guarding things. Oh, and he's a little guard there. He's saying, who goes there? Hmm. <laughs> Leopold Picard is a really great guard. He'll guard anything he is given, provided he is asked nicely enough. Good manners are very important, you know. See, there he is standing right there with the sign that says, None shall pass, without asking nicely. His current assignment is a bit boring, but he doesn't mind. It's much better than his last one. Ooh. Yeah. Guarding a gorilla. That does not look like fun. Well, it might be fun for the gorilla, but not for the guard. Moving on to H. Half a house. Okay, you have my attention. Helen lived in half a house. The other half had fallen into the sea during a hurricane a year and a half ago. Ooh, that looks like it could be a problem, Helen. I mean, 
half of your house is in the sea. How are you not dead? Is your insurance even going to cover this? You should probably do something about that quickly. Being lazy and not owning a hammer, she hadn't quite got around to fixing it yet. Which was fine. Until the horrible day she rolled out the wrong side of bed. Whoops. Imagine if that happened to you. You just roll over and suddenly... I, the inventor. Hmm, he looks smart. There once lived an ingenious inventor who invented many ingenious things. Like, I guess, this iceberg with a periscope sticking out of it. His latest invention allowed him to observe iguanas in their natural habitat, incognito. Is that an iceberg? I have no idea. Um, I think chameleons are tropical, which means they live in a very warm climate, which means I'm not sure an iceberg was the best disguise there, Professor. J. Jelly Door. Ooh, jelly, 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 jelly. All right, quick aside here. In, um, in, in the UK, I believe, jelly is what they call jello. So keep that in mind while we're reading this next bit. You can do all sorts of things with jelly. You can eat it. You can throw it. You can make stuff out of it. That's what Jemima did. She made her front door out of jelly. That way, if she ever left home without her keys, she could just reach in and grab them. All right, okay, Jemima. Okay, okay, Jemima, that's pretty clever, but, um, I think you have a flaw. I think there is a flaw in your master plan here. Can any of you guys tell me what it is? I'll wait. Do, 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 do. All right, let's see what her flaw is. Of course, so could anyone else. Because of that, the jelly door never did catch on. But, sure, who would be so foolish as to forget their keys in the first place? I mean, who? Who, I ask you, who would be that silly as to forget their keys? I tell you, who? K. The King. The King of France went out for a dance and forgot to bring along keys. Really, King? You know what? I, I, I can't even look at you right now. He got locked out and sat about all night with no sleep and no cheese. Well, see, King of France? That's what happens to you when you forget your keys. You get no cheese. Sorry, I don't make the rules. Just how it is. L. The Lumberjack's Light. Hmm. He looks very manly. Jack Stack the Lumberjack has been struck by lightning 111 times in his life so far. What lousy luck, you might think. Well, the first few times were annoying, but he is actually beginning to like it now. Hmm. Really? He likes this? He likes getting... Okay, well, for one thing, he is so live with electricity that he no longer needs a plug for his light at night. Oh, hey! All right, that actually looks pretty convenient. I mean, imagine how cool that would be. All you have to do is hold a light bulb and it turns on. Blue. Sweet. M. Made of matter. Mary is made of matter. So is her mother and her mother's moose. In fact, matter makes up everything from magnets and maps to mountains and mattresses. Mary discovered all of this the marvelous day she got sucked through a microscope and became the size of a molecule. <laughs> Although matter makes up all things, matter itself is made of molecules. And ooh, mountains are made of these molecules. 
mattresses molecules, moose molecules, magnet molecules, mom molecules, and whoo, floating through. It's a minor miracle that they all made it back out of the microscope at their normal size again. <laughs> Mary's standing here going, wow, that was amazing, but her Mother and her mother's moose are like, I've seen things, things I can't unsee. Oh, I'm sure they'll be fine. N, nearly 9,000. Oh, S the answer to the enigma is nearly 9,000. See the letter E. Oh, yeah, that one. Sort of. Wait, what do you mean, sort of? You could never actually fit an elephant inside an envelope, but you could fit nearly 9,000 envelopes inside an elephant. Okay, I mean, that's... I think that's cheating in a way. We were trying to put an elephant inside the envelope, but okay, okay, you could fit nearly 9,000 envelopes inside an elephant. Then again, it depends on the size of the envelope, so <laughs> never say never. Ooh, that's a big envelope! Look at that. <clears throat> oh, onward. Out on the ocean, there is an owl who rides on the back of an octopus. They search for problems. Let's go! Ooh, look at them helping out. Hum, and carry the two. Ooh, he went that way. More glue. Oh, hey, Cup. Sweet. They're fixing them. Like this. Plop, 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 plop. Ah, there it is. Ooh, we found it. So they look for problems. They solve them. They move on. A cry for help! Let's go! P. A puzzled parsnip. Parsnips aren't known for their intelligence, but this one was particularly daft. Are we carrots? No. Potatoes? No. What are we? Parsnips. Oh! Hey, did you know we're parsnips? You're not very smart, are you? Hmm. Point proven. Whew. Yep. Q. The missing question. Hmm. This story is supposed to be about a question, but I can't find it anywhere. Hmm. He's even checking the other page. Do you know where it is? Do you know where the question is? Please leave your comments down below. R. Robots don't like rain clouds. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Why not? Huh? Why not? Oh, hey, this is a poem. <clears throat> Robots don't like rain clouds, so they steal them from the sky. From everywhere and anywhere, that's why it's been so dry. I'm sure you have been wondering what's with all this dust. Well, robots don't like getting wet. They don't do well with rust. Oh, so that's what happens when it's not raining. It's the robots stealing our rain clouds so they don't rust up and con rise up against the humanity. Okay, it's just a drawing. I should calm down. S. Sink or swim. Hmm. This is the story of a regular cucumber who watched a program about sea cucumbers and thought it might be a better life for him. That very evening, the regular cucumber went to the shore and, taking a last look around, plunged into the sea. However, never having tried before, he hadn't realized he couldn't swim and sank straight to the bottom. 
He hasn't been heard from since. Ooh. I'm sure he's okay. I mean, he's only a sea cucumber and he can't swim and he sank to the bottom of the ocean. I'm, I'm sure he'll be fine. But don't worry. The owl and the octopus are on their way. Oh, good, good. See, see, he'll be fine. They got it. They're going to handle it. T, the terrible typewriter. Hmm. Not so long ago, and in a room not so far away, sat a typewriter and a terrified typist. You see, whatever was written on this particular typewriter, however strange, had a terrible habit of coming true. Oh... So I bet this guy was writing a story about a terrible tree-eating monster and the terrible tree-eating monster came true and is standing in the same room as the typist. It was only a few moments before this typist story came to a tragic end. Whoops. You. Underground. Okay. Unfortunately, Nigel wasn't very good at climbing. The other monkeys laughed at him because he needed a ladder to get up the tree. This upset Nigel, so he used his ladder to move underground. Aw, you mocking monkeys, how dare you make fun of Nigel? Turns out, being underground isn't so bad sometimes. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey. Oh, hi, Lumberjack. The Victor the Vanquished. Ooh. <clears throat> Victor was used to being victorious. But recently, he was defeated and retreated into hiding under the stairs where he now sits, plotting his vengeance. Ooh, and playing the violin, it looks like. One day, they'll all be very sorry. Ooh, creepy child. W, the Wereff. Wereff? Interesting. The ingenious inventor had a favorite invention of all, the giraffe. It had the head of a whisk and the body of a giraffe. They became great friends over the years and enjoyed strawberries and whipped cream. The giraffe, of course, whipped the cream. He's still really freaky looking. He makes good cream, though. Good giraffe. X. The case of the missing x-ray spectacles. One terrible morning, Xavier woke to discover that his excellent pair of x-ray spectacles had been stolen. He knew exactly who to call. Hello, owl. What the owl and the octopus knew that the burglar did not was that an extra pair existed. Mm. Owl's got his own x-ray specs on, so he can see the x-ray specs in this dude's bag. There they are! Who? Me? Dude, everyone can see them. We know it was you. Also, you're dressed exactly like a burglar, so I don't know who you're trying to fool. Why? A yeti, a yak, and a yo-yo. All right. A yeti up north bought a yo-yo of sorts from a yak only yesterday. I'll have the yellow one. Yes, it's a bargain at that price. Hmm. But here's the thing. It didn't have string. So this morning he threw it away. Whew. Yeti, you got ripped off, man. I mean, a yo-yo with no string, I... 
How did you not spot that when you were buying the yo-yo? Let the buyer beware. Z. Zeppelin. Whew, not for indoor use. Oh, hey, it's Edmund the astronaut from the beginning of the book. Hi, Edmund. Edmund the astronaut has made some progress. He purchased a Zeppelin and now drives a steady four feet from the ground. Oh, that's one more foot than he used to be able to handle. Way to go, Edmund! You made some progress! Only 328,412 to go. Oh man, you can do this, Edmund. You can do this. Good luck, Edmund! Oh, see, Edmund, even the aliens are rooting for you. There you go. All right. That's all I've got for you guys today. As usual, if you'd like to comment on the story, check the link in the description. That'll take you to a video with the comments enabled. It's probably going to be a video of my cat. You can totally comment on the video and tell her all about this story and what you liked. Anyway, um, that's all I've got for you today. I really miss you guys. I love you all. I cannot wait to see you again. Bye. Do, do, do.